Hey guys, it's Matt. I'm heading over to my grandfather's house. Uh, about three months ago, I got him a package of bees and set up a beehive over there. He was really curious. He wanted some bees over there, but I'm taking care of them since I have some hives at home. So when we get there, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go in the hive, see how the hive is progressing, see if I need to add anything, uh, kind of check on them, see if there's any hive beetles that we need to worry about. Um, we're gonna look and look for some Varroa mites. They are really small mites that can get into a hive and they, they latch onto the honeybee and they, um, they suck their blood basically and they kill them and they stress out the bees so much that the bees just all die out. So we're gonna go check on all that stuff. Like I said, it's only a three month old hive and when we get there, I'll show you guys the inside of it I'll try to find the queen for you, and uh, then we'll we'll take it from there. So I hope you guys enjoy it, and I'll see you when we get there. Here we go. This is a much smaller hive than at the house. I'm sure they're everywhere. Uh oh. What are those wood ants? Uh oh. Look at there. Kill them. In the corner too. Now why have they not done nothing about them? Yeah, look like it's starting to get on high beetles. They got the high beetles. Yeah, I'd hear. Can you zoom in on a high beetle? Yeah. Yep. The little one there. Stuck on it. There's a high yeah, beetle. Lock it down. High beetles can kill a hive pretty quick if they don't get a hold of them. What? Get them. Hive beetles. Ooh, oh. a little spider. Oh. Big old Porsche spider. Them things. Mm -hmm. like a bunch them. of Porsche baby spiders. They will, but they ain't got them under control. They're usually killing them as well. Yeah. Y'all see the hives, then I'm gonna go set that. Y'all see the hives, then I'm gonna go set that. Yeah, I didn't. I don't think we'll need another level yet. They haven't even started on this. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Look at the amount of hive beetles in here. Oh my gosh! How do we get rid of them? Sunshine. Sunshine. Yeah, so we're gonna need to we're gonna shade. need to relocate these girls then. At some point, or are they gonna get out of control? Yeah. I need a, we're going to need you to look for a sunny spot, Grandpa. We're going to need to move them into the sun. You think the boys will knock them over? What about, does it get any sun in that little gra grass patch down there? Not much. Good looking though. Yeah, they're definitely, um, together. They're all bunched up too. Man. Is there any other way to get rid of them? Oh yeah, we could put a hive trap in. We're gonna need to get a hive trap. Yeah, them cornered, if you like that. Hmm. And we'll work on getting rid of some of these. You got to kill them or they just come right back. Yeah. I'm sorry, sweetie. Y'all are being good, though. You're not making me feel claustrophobic, which is always good. Man, that stuff is really good. It's breaking one. I broke this one, and I thought breaking one would be good enough, but. There we go. That's the brood. Woo. Oh, exactly. Where they lay their eggs. Yeah. Yeah, there's not there's not gonna be any honey to to be able to get off of this, Grandpa. 
They're still working on the Sabbath. They're doing a good job there. Well, the sun comes up over that hill right there. Okay. Or can we put them up again in one of these trees? Um, probably I'd stay away from a tree. Perhaps, That's all the where they've capped from. honey. Mm -hmm. And down here, this is all brood. You can see the, you can see the um, larva in a bunch of these. Randy, did you see this? Or you got a bunch in there? Look at all these larvae here. Mm hmm. They're we could probably here. find the queen. I'm looking, but I don't see her standing out right now. Uh, was this a color you couldn't? Oh, it's yellow, this isn't is it? It's a big bright yellow or yellow green one this year. Neon green, that's what it was. See them all bunched up here? Hey, ladies. Well, here, we're working hard. Well, y'all get your suit off and we'll go up and take a look and see. Look it up. Mm. The propolis is sealed up. Now, the propolis is what they use to seal and keep the hive insulated. Here's the queen. Oh, did you find her? Yeah. Yep, there she is right there. That's her working hard. Man, I wish it was that easy on B-Force 1. Mm -hmm. Look at her, she's so pretty. She's a big girl. Where's she at? She's doing good. So all of these that are capped are about to hatch. And the nursing bees, this one's cleaning it out. One of them hatched there and she's cleaning it out to get ready for the next larva to be laid. And there's a bunch of honey up here. They're gonna start capping these and the little larvas down in them. Yeah, that's it. She's the best bugger to around in there, don't she? It's doing good work. Did I get it out of order? Uh, hmm. Did I get it out of order? I didn't really have an order. I just numbered them off so we could see which ones. Let me see her again. One, two, three. Yeah, I guess I just have one There you go. Is she on that side? Uh, yep, there she is, right there. Get the smoke away. I'm sorry, ladies. I know. Did she done disappear? Oh, there she is. Right there. You can see her walking. That's the queen. And she looks to be doing a really good job. Yeah, they've got um, it's a good pattern on here. Yeah, this is beautiful. I haven't seen their reserve honey though. I think they're working on it. They're still working. They're, they're not fully established yet. Yeah. So right up here some. See? Yep. So that's all of their honey that they're going to use over the winter. And they're working on this corner. So we won't have any honey this year from this hive. Um, but if they if we move them in a good spot, get rid of those hive beetles. This, be this, this is a one. yeah. This is a very good queen. She's doing a good job. Here's some bees just cleaning each other, taking care of each other. And then there's the the queen again. And she's beautiful. And these ladies up here, they're filling all this in with honey, and then they'll cap it. Um, they're spitting in it to make it honey. It's just nectar when they bring it in. And then they spit in it and clean it and mm -hmm. sanitize it. Mm -hmm. Beehives are some of the cleanest things in the world. Yeah, I told you I had some bees. Excuse me, ladies. I know. I don't want to squish you. Some here. Hey, sweetie. But they're typically pretty nice, especially the nursing bees. Nursing bees won't really sting you because um, they have one job and one job only, and that's just to nurse the hive. Um, 
but this is looking really good though. We can look at these. Yeah, they're just just now stopping. Yeah, they're doing good. And we know this is brood because of the coloration of it. Brood chambers are all, uh, a lot darker than if it was just a, a honey chamber. Because the brood, they reuse the caps more often. Okay. So I think we just need to add those two frames, or those extra frames in here, Randy. They're just looking to expand right now. But they've worked on every frame, haven't they? Something. Every, they're working this Something. way. They're working this way. Uh, which one, which frame is that one? Oh, that's three. Shoot. There's one in there. That's um, it's a clean frame. It's oh, that's five. Everything. Here's five. But it'll give her a jump start. Um, one thing, these are not frames for me. Oh no. This is a deep frame. These are medium. Hmm. Well, we could stick them in there, and they would just build. We could, we could put them in there, bring the correct ones, add to it. Yeah, and, and they'll just build. The we'll just move them to the top, and yeah. just continue to work up them. Yeah, so we can put them in there for now, for them to... Or we can set this on top and let them get busy with this. You don't think that'll mess with them when it comes winter? Yeah. We've still got over three months of time to work on it. And this hive is only... Three months old. Mm, that's what I said. Three or four months. So. Time, you know, next year this is going to be a good hive if they get through. It's going to yeah, be just like good. Uh, yours was. Remember how yeah. good it did? Mm hmm. This was a good package of bees on this one. Very, very good. Where do they even come from? I don't know. They are in use this way. Now, next year, Grandpa, we're going to let them establish both of these, okay? Next and then, beekeepers, not me. And then next year, we'll put a divider right here that the queen can't go through. Mm -hmm. So then that makes your next level nothing but honey mm -hmm. for us to have. And then everything down here will be what they need uh -huh. for their the bottom, winters. The bottom box. Right. The bottom two will be what they need for winter. Mm -hmm. And then your top third box will be what we can harvest every year. This is looking just better than I expected it really for a package in only three months. Yeah. It's really good. This seems to be working from the side outward. I haven't from gotten... From the middle outward. They're, they're working, like from working from there all the way this way. They are working So the last way. three... I haven't been worked on hardly at all. But... They're very nice. I don't think I've been stung in my suit. Mm, I haven't even had any trouble with them. We could have just about done this one without a suit. Well, when I put them in, though, whoo, buddy. Glad I had my suit on that day. Because they were not too happy. Did you pretty much get rid of the hot beetles? Yeah, killed about 20 of them. See all this part? Yeah.
It'll help them out. It'll take control of them. All right, what do we need? Um, one, two, three. We need deep. three deep and then five medium. I think five. Um, Maybe six. Eight. Get a whole six. It will hold up to ten. A lot of times they put nine in them on the tens for some reason. Whatever you want to do. Got bigger. Yeah. All right. And that is the beginning stages of a honeybee hive.